Hey, and welcome back. So with this activity, I decided to record how I would do uh, boom cards. So this week, uh, the activity that I have that I want to show you guys is about articulation, but there are other ways that we can include articulation and targeting final and initial and medium speech sounds with other kiddos too. So for example, if we have a boy or a girl who has an artic error, like let's say they're just cutting off final sounds of the words, uh, instead of uh, put, they say put, if instead of make, they say may. Um, so I'll show you how we can target those sounds. For, um, I think I have the final D sound pulled up today you'll find that activity in your boom cards. Another way that we can use that activity for another type of situation, like let's say a boy or a girl has some like limited uh, language. So when we show those pictures, let's not focus on how they say the words. Let's focus on pushing the child to say the words in general. So if there's a doggy in that picture and they say da, all right, <laughs> you know, is that new? Did he, was he or she able to say something like that earlier? Uh, is that a new word? Is that a new skill? Is, um, is, is he or she like already using that word? Now we need to figure out how we can turn it into a short sentence or a phrase. So instead of pointing at the picture of the dog and saying doggy, let's tell them, okay, like I see a doggy. What do you see? And kind of prompt them to say, I see doggy. Or we can even make the doggy sound, you know, like ruff ruff. <laughs> and the more excited you get, as always, that's how you're gonna get the kiddos to participate with you. So be super excited. I don't care if it's a drum, I don't care if it's a dog, it can be a feather and you know, it's exciting. It's gonna get really exciting. So I'm gonna share my screen and I'll pull up the activity. So the boom card activity is gonna be looking like this and we call this like, I think it's called candy articulation. So here's some instructions, you know, 18 target words um, and two red hearts that have been hitting beneath. So some of the hearts are going to be not like a vocabulary word. They're going to be just hearts. So it's going to be a heart under a heart. And then we can get really excited about that and talk about Valentine's Day. Um, so if you click next we can pick and choose. So where is the articulation error? That's for the kiddos that are working on speech sound development and um, clarity of speech. So if that's what level you're on, let's pick, where do we want the sound? Do we want it in the beginning of the word in the initial position, medial, which would be in the middle, um, final, which would be at the very end, or we can pick mixed. So it just depends on where your child is. And if you have any questions about that, let me know and I will help you and I will answer all your questions. Uh, let's say, let's do for this activity, let's do mixed, okay? So this way I can show you some um, examples of what I would do if I was just working on expressive language with the child, um, like, labeling what is under the heart or expanding their utterances or just like engaging them in activities. So if you guys have an iPad, even better because the kiddos can just take the heart with their finger and drag it to, uh, to the jar. The other idea would be to kind of do it for them, have them point at the heart or even better, like let's have the child tell you what color they want and that's once again like that's a little more of an advanced skill so I if I was in the in the classroom right now and I was doing this activity with the kiddos on the big screen that we have I would say hey, like what color should we move what color heart do you want and then model the sentence I want mm, pink Let's get the pink. 
which pink do you want? Do you want the one on top or on the bottom? So what I'm doing here is I'm teaching top versus bottom and giving them the like a field of two options. Like this is my game, I'm in control, but you get to choose which hearts we move. You want the pink heart on top? Okay, let's put in heart, put in, and then I would like try to zoom in so they can see. What do you see? I see a doggy. You try, say doggy. Nice job, high five. Let's zoom out. Let's do more hearts, more hearts. What color do you want? I want purple. Where's purple? Purple heart, the one on top or the one on the bottom? On the bottom, I want purple heart on the bottom. Let's put in heart. I wanna hear you say, put in heart. Good. Oh, let's see, what do we have here? It's a bed, bed. I see bed. Nice job. What do you do on the bed? Do you drink your water? No. What do you do on the bed? That's right. We go to sleep in our beds. <laughs> we sleep in our beds. What's next? What color is next? I want yellow, yellow. Can you find the yellow heart on top? Nice job, ready? Let's put in heart. Oh, what's over there? What do you see? Yeah, it's a d door. Door, should we open door? What else do we do by a door? We can do knock, knock and tell them open door. What's next? What color do you want? I want what? Can you do what? White. White. Nice job. Should we get the white on top or white on the bottom? On the bottom, I want white heart on the bottom. Let's put in heart and look at what we have. What do you see? I see a bear, a teddy bear, teddy bear. Hi, Teddy. Let's do a couple more. What color do you want? I want pink, like my shirt. P pink. Hmm. Which one? The one on top or the one on the bottom? Let's do top. Up. Nice job. Let's put in pink heart. Oh, my friends, look. What do we have? I see a hut. Hut. 
cut dog. Nice. Hot dog. Who likes hot dogs? What do we do with hot dogs? Do we put them on our head? No, that'd be really silly. We eat. No, no. Eat hot dog. Good work. Let's do one more. I want green. You do? I want green heart. Do we do the one on top or the one on the bottom? Let's do the one on t -t top. Good job. T -t top. Good job. Put in, what do we say? I want to hear you. Put in heart. Hmm. What do you see? I see sand. You try. I see sand. Good job. So parents, what am I doing here? I'm giving the kids an opportunity to pick and choose their hearts. I'm giving them an opportunity to tell me what they see. And I'm also very focused on making sure that I'm not saying, what's this? What's that? What's this? What's this? Because then like, then, then they can just tell you a dog or a door or teddy bear. What I want to do is I want to make sure that we are modeling longer utterances. So what do you see? What do you see? I see a bear. I see a door. I see a hot dog. And then I often ask the kids, well, what do you do with it? What should we do with the hot dog and do something completely off the wall crazy like I just did like, hot dog? Oh, I know, we put it on our head and see if they'll correct you. And if they don't, then tell them, no, 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 we don't put hot dogs on our head. We eat hot dogs, eat. Um, you can also target some yes and no questions. Like for example, if we zoom in on the dog and say, hey, I know, what does doggy say? He says, meow. That's not true, that's silly. So have the kiddo kind of trust themselves and their knowledge instead of relying on you because what happens a lot of times is once we start targeting the yes and no questions, the kids are not really consistent with them. And if they, we know that they know this vocabulary, let's test them, let's push them. Let's make sure that they're trusting their own instinct. Let's make sure that they trust what they know and tell you like no doggy doesn't say meow doggy says ruff ruff mom <laughs> so test them push them they know more than they think and make sure, let's just make sure that they're very confident and they're able to kind of correct you if you're wrong um so we just we want we want them to be able to tell you no that's not what the doggy says that's the cat <laughs> Okay, so once again, please reach out to me if you have any, any questions. I am always available through Remind, through email, text message, whatever you feel is appropriate. I often work outside of office hours. As you can tell, it's really dark outside. Um, but other than that, have a good weekend. Uh, send me a lot of pictures and a lot of feedback on all of these activities.